So, Rick, I guess to the point, um, even if the BuzzFeed article was completely wrong, what Yoni Applebaum is trying to get across, and many other people are as well, who are calling for impeachment, is that they believe the president has done other things that are impeachable offenses. I don't think that there is any question that Donald Trump has committed impeachable offenses. You cannot lie to the American people 7,645 times. To, is which that is a specific the, number? <laughs> yes, that's what the Washington Post reported. As of December 31st, he had either lied directly or he had misled the American public. I don't think you can do that over and over and over again and still comply with your oath of office, which is to preserve, protect, and defend the United States. Although there is a loophole because it says to the best ability of uh, the uh, individual who's holding the office. Well, maybe Donald Trump is simply not capable of telling the truth, in which case the 25th Amendment yeah. ought to be implemented. But there is one other thing I want to say. While I do think that there are grounds for impeachment, I also believe that you should not go ahead with impeachment unless you are going to have bipartisan buy-in. Yeah, if we... you don't have bipartisan buy-in, it doesn't work. And Linda, it looked like you wanted to weigh in. Well, I wanted to weigh in to just lay out two things that the yeah, I'm, I'm all about practical politics, mm -hmm. and the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, where impeachment would start, is not making impeachment an agenda item. So this is all just kind of uh, back-in-the-envelope talk. And the other thing is you need an extraordinary supermajority in the Senate to uh, convict in a trial, and you would not get that. So 